to you, friend. <laughs> that sounds like a, uh, you're nervous or how are you feeling? I have a four month old and, oh and a six year old. And my six year old wanted to do a sleepover last night. And so that's like a, just an over. It's not a sleepover, there's no sleep. It's just, it's just an over. So. <laughs> At I'm your place? Up. I'm waking up. Okay. Yes, yes, okay. Rachel what? Marine Lampa. Oh, why would you do that? <laughs> why? Are you ready to enter the Tower of Truth? Have you been reading Wikipedia? Yes! <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's a lot of questions. 38. Oh, wow. Okay. 48 different questions, 48 blocks. Okay. And other artists have already conquered the Tower of Truth. Oh, wow. And I'm hoping to put your name on it at the end oh as well. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So I'll let you go first. Of course, is this Matthew West that took one? He was the first. Sucker. <laughs> He's a little sucker. He was the first person to do it. So you will <laughs> autograph the fifth block when you conquer the Tower of Truth. All right, all right. So whatever you would. Well, let's go five. I'm just gonna just do that a little action right there. Yep. All right, so this is a simple this or that. Okay. Audio book or ebook? It's gotta be audio. I am really yes. I am all over the place. Like if I am reading words, like it's gonna be a while. <laughs> well, is it because you're a parent? You don't really have the time to actually sit. In... For sure. Yeah, and then just I'm just a a boom 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 kind of brain. Like, <laughs> I'm all over the place. So. So have you listened to one recently? Are you listening to one? Or? I've I've been listening to a lot of podcasts mm. because otherwise, yeah, I can do like you know, our segments of listening at the most, you know, if it's like at night or something like that, but. Favorite podcast? Um, right now, I just love That Sounds Fun, Annie, Annie Downs. Oh, yes. She just like lifts me up. All right, so now I get to pick one for oh, you. Oh, okay. So I want, we warmed you up with that, so I'm gonna go a little deeper, okay? Oh, you would. I'm gonna get, and, and, and the, the, you know, just like uh, if you've ever played this before, oh, yeah, you, you know, you, 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 uh -huh. the tower kind of chooses the question, right? The one that comes out easy. So this the tower is tells you. 32. An app you can't live without. I'm just, because I am in early momhood right now, it's alarm clocks, like just alarms set all the time to feed the kid, mm. wake up the kid, put the kid down, like wake myself up, all that kind of <laughs> stuff. So I'm gonna be boring and save my alarm clock app right now. Is, is a four month old kind of a built in alarm clock? Not this one. This guy really? is a dream. He sleeps and sleeps and sleeps. And when he cries, his cry is this. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> he'll literally be like in another room, I'll be doing dishes or something like that, and he'll just be like taking a nap in his little thing on, on the couch, and I'll just hear, hey! <laughs> and I'm like, okay. yes sir! Do you think you're gonna sample that, hey, and put it in a song? 100%, yes. Oh my gosh, yes, I will do that. All right, go ahead and, and pick another one. Okay. Um, let's go like, right, let's see, are you moving? No. Oh, I like you, okay. I'm staying light. That's all right. I have a big fear of blank. I, birds are so scary. <laughs> birds. I'm gonna dig here. We're yeah, gonna, okay, we're gonna let's go dig. Let's get. Let's get into it. What did the birds do to you in your childhood that hurt you? I found it out. <laughs> Me and my siblings. I have four. There's four of us, and we are all scared of birds. And we're like, there's got to be a reason, and we have not been able to figure it out. And the other day. I was at a house where there was a washer and dryer on the top floor. Okay. And I was thinking about it and I was like, oh man, I used to have, like at least our dryer, probably both, were up on the top floor. And I was like, oh my gosh, I think I got it. I texted all my, my family and I was like, birds used to fly into the dryer vent. What? <laughs> and so like, like every once in a while we just hear like this slam. <laughs> And just like these booms. And I'm sure my mom at one point was like, that's a bird. <laughs> <laughs> and so I think that's it. I think that's the, that's the, that's the ticket. Oh man. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, next. There we go. We'll get back to that one. You gotta dig deeper on that one. <laughs> All right. We'll do number 29. All right. Favorite meal on the road? If we're like overseas, mm -hmm. I love finding Indian food. For some reason, there's like really good Indian food all over like Europe and stuff. Mm -hmm. That's always like kind of the goal, like to find really good Indian food because I think it's hard to find. So. All right, go ahead and pick another block. All right, okay. Should I just go all the way in? I'm going, no, I'm not, no. Tower doesn't want to go there. Okay, let's go 40. What life lesson did you learn the hard way? Okay, so I had a music career when I was a teenager. I remember. Okay, learning life a little bit backwards. Mm. Um, 
was was tough because I think when I was 14, I was pretty sure of myself. Like, mm. I, you know, I was like, oh, I got this. Like a lot of people praised me for being mature and mm. for being, for kind of, you know, having it together, being wise and all that stuff. And, you know, I got told that a lot mm. when I was a teenager. And so as I grew up, I was like, and I think a lot of us could probably agree, like, the older you get, the less you know. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and the more you realize you didn't know ever. But I think I obviously have come to a place where I'm like, I want to be in a place where I have more questions than answers. But I think that that time in life, like maybe like my late 20s, early 30s, where I didn't know that yet, that mm. that was a good thing. That was a hard lesson to learn and just of trusting and letting God be the one with the answers and not me. Do you ever look back at, um, interviews when you did, and, and you know, they're still, I'm sure they're still on the internet, and you're like, what in the world? So many, yeah, so many fashion choices. There were times, <laughs> me and St uh, Stacey Arico was like mm. my best friend, and we toured together all the time, and I swear, before shows, we would just dump a bunch of glitter in a bowl and just <laughs> dip our faces in it. <laughs> so much glitter, so, so much, and yeah, done and done. All right. <laughs> 18. I dream of blank. I've been trying to like dream in a big way, in a small way. Mm. <laughs> and like, because life has zoomed in so much for me with a new baby, with, um, with doing music again, which I wasn't really planning on doing, um, I feel like all these big things are happening around me and like God has just dropped some really really big, amazing, unexpected things into my life. So in those, I've been dreaming about like putting the whole family on a tour bus and, and having, having, you know, that kind of experience together and bringing my, my six year old to a, um, to a game in London, to, to a soccer game. Sorry. Oh. Soccer is, is it, um, you know, like, so like these, these like little drop in dreams lately have kind of been my thing. Um, that I'm not used to doing. Like I said, like with the backwards growing up-ish kind of life, um, there were, I, I, I feel like I was always dreaming like these huge, like I'm like Grammys mm -hmm. and world tour and this whole thing. And now I'm just kind of like, oh, let's just, I wish, I want to go to like, you know, I want to go to a game. I want to go to a cool soccer game. And... Do you feel like you really didn't get a childhood? I've, I've been asked that and I've wondered that. I don't think I got it totally robbed from me. Mm. I, I had some, some people around me that made sure that didn't happen. My, my brother, my mom. I love sports and mm. I love going to all my high school football games and stuff. So I would fly home from wherever I was sometimes just to go to a, a high school football mm. game. Um, I made it to all my proms. I made it to, um, to a lot of those kind of events. Um, I also had, Stacy was my best friend. We, we kept it really fun on the road. We kept a lot of young people around us. It wasn't the same as my classmates, but um, I don't think it got totally robbed. Also, I am I feel like I'm still in a child. <laughs> 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 I think I'm still, you know, I've yeah. me and my brother have always been like kind of the jokesters and kind of like always kept it young and fun and stuff. So I think we're, uh, I think we, we held on for dear life, whether we knew it or not. So what's one thing that you and your brother, like? that you still do to each other's little practical jokes oh that my gosh. well we would always we would always practical joke people on the tour mm. so like we would like leave funny little like random objects on people's keyboards or put um you know like the age old thing where you put like baby powder on the drummers drums and so that when they hit it it just <laughs> flies everywhere one time i mean we were like 15 and 17 year old mm. so we were like not the smartest. So you're like, let's light off fireworks on the stage. Oh, no. <laughs> sure, why not? And we did. And it like was like, it got like this close to some, like under somebody's dress. And yeah, that happened. Um, we also like one time, do you remember the band Brothers Keeper? Yeah. I remember one time we just took a big roll of toilet paper and we just slowly wrapped them all through, during their song, like on stage, just slowly wrapped them in toilet paper, just their whole song and then just walked off and left <laughs> And they're just like, what just happened? Um, yeah, so little things like that. The Tower of Truth is extracting some truth today. It's, yes. This is, you and never it's holding know. strong. It is. I'm pretty yes. sure I did it with Brandon Heath and he was so competitive. I don't think he wanted to be the one to let it fall. Oh, right, so. right. I am also very competitive. <laughs> and also, how far did Brandon Heath get? <laughs> <laughs>
You're doing yeah. good. You're doing good. All right, let's go. Let's shake it up. Nope, nope, just kidding. E oh, my lord. Oh. Oh, wow, really? Okay, wait. Oh. No. No. One to Oh, sweet. Awesome. Are we done? <laughs> I feel like I lost. No, you know what? <laughs> the, the tower decides when the game is over. Dang it! There was so much truth. So Yeah, it just was like heavy with truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But there's one more question. Okay, okay. When's the time when your life fell apart <laughs> and on. God put it back together? Yes, okay. It falls apart and comes together like daily. <laughs> um, when I was about 21, I was burnt out already. Um, and it was a time when every all my other friends in my life were just graduating um, college. And so they were like, they were just getting their lives together. Mm -hmm. And they were just figuring out what they wanted to do for a, the long run. And I was leaving what I thought I was gonna be doing for the long run. So that definitely felt like a falling apart for sure. I definitely felt like, um, you know, what am I doing? But I know it's right. And I had a piece about leaving. So I decided to leave my record label and leave my management and do something completely opposite, which was, I became a nanny for like oh, wow. a few years, yeah. Um, and I just needed to, I just needed to hear God's voice again. Mm. Um, there were too many other voices um, coming in. And so I think what God did was return me to my inner child for sure. And had me hang out with babies, you know, which is kind of like the thing that I, I was thinking like, what, what were my friends doing in the teenage years? They were babysitting, mm. you know? Um, so I was, um, I, I loved, I loved being a nanny. It was so, it was awesome. And it really brought me back down um, to simple things and then kind of rebuilt, 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 kind of said yes and no and yes and no to different like musical things and stuff. But I feel like there was just this, um, this magnet that God kind of like, like strapped to my feet that was just like, remember baby Rachel, remember your inner child, remember the child of God that you are. Mm -hmm. Remember that dynamic, you know? And I think that that's always, that's always been a theme for me. Um, but in that moment of being 21 and leaving my record label and stuff, I think that that was this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, um, and it's been a slow, you know, a slow rebuild. Well, congratulations, you've conquered the tower. So there's only one last thing to do. Conquering. We gotta find, uh, you're dead. Go ahead and autograph right. the top and then the side the too. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Yay! Thanks, we Sarah. did it!